everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope that you are all good. So today's video is just a short and simple one, but I wanted to show you guys this layered nail art design using acrylic, glitter, mylar and some foils. To start off with, I'm placing a medium to large size bead of CJP Fantasy down at the cuticle area, just tapping it into place and then pulling that bead of acrylic down the nail, trying to keep it nice and smooth and even. And then I'm going to come in with another bead of acrylic and pretty much do the same. I'm just placing this one down to build up the coverage because if you was doing this on yourself or a client, this is where that natural nail area would be. So I just wanted there to be a little bit more coverage there. And again, I'm doing the same, trying to make sure that's nice and smooth and even. And then I'm coming in with this beautiful glitter mix from Smiley's Glitter Store. I believe this one is called Hot Pink Disco, but I will double check and leave it in the description box below. So I've just picked up this raw glitter with a small bead of CJP Crystal Glass, and I'm just placing that down at the tip area and blending it back. And this is where you can kind of decide how far down you want your glitter fade to go. I wanted mine to go further down so more of a majority of the nail was covered with the glitter and nail art so we just come in with a little bit more of that glitter and repeated the same process as before and I'm keeping this layer nice and thin each layer of product or nail art glitter whatever that you are adding you need to try and keep it nice and thin so that you don't end up with a bulky nail and then over the top of that, I'm coming in with another mix from Smiley's Glitter Store. As you can see, this is a beautiful iridescent hex mix. So again, picking this up with a small bead of CJP Crystal Glass, placing it down on the nail and just using my wet brush to nudge the chunkier pieces around. And I'm just sort of spreading them out so it covers the entire pink glitter. And what I love about this mix is because it's iridescent, you get so many different effects out of it depending on what color background you put it over. Just look how beautiful it looks. So then over the top of that, I'm going to come in with some pink mylar pieces. These are from Charlie's Nailer. I do have a discount code for Charlie's, which is always in the description box below. And to apply them, I'm just going to pop a thin wash of clear acrylic down and then tap on those mylar pieces into the wet acrylic. And again, keeping my brush full of monomer so I'm able to tap and nudge any of the pieces around. These look absolutely stunning, but they really pop once the nail has been encapsulated and top coated. So it's a little tricky to see them at the moment. And then now I'm finished applying everything that's going to be encapsulated in the acrylic. I'm going to come in and cap the nail. So I'm using my CJP crystal glass to do this. I've placed quite a medium to large size bead down, blended out the back of it. And then I'm just walking that down towards the tip area. And with this layer, this is where you're building all your strength and structure. So I'm just going to continue working up the nail with my beads of acrylic until that entire nail is covered. So as you'll see, I pick up my bead, place it down on the nail, blend out the back of that bead so that your next bead of acrylic hasn't got a large ridge to come over. And then I'm pulling it down over that previous bead of acrylic, leaving the bulk of it where I've placed that bead down. And what's really important about this layer as well is this is where you need to make sure all of that glitter is fully encapsulated because if there's any areas that are not encapsulated then when it comes to filing you will either file into the glitter or file it away. Here I noticed I just had a slight dip in my structure so I just come in with another spool bead to fix that. And as you can see it's now fully encapsulated because all that glitter has gone dull and matte looking. And then went off camera, filed all of the nail and gave it a buff with my white buffing block. And we're now ready to come in with that top layer of nail art. So I'm going to be using some foils. So I'm applying the Goddess Foil Gel from Nirvana Nail Supplies. Just a really thin layer of this. And then I'm popping it in my LED lamp to cure for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to be using these two beautiful foils, which are also from Charlie's Nail Art. So now that my foil gel is out of the lamp, I'm really lightly tapping on these foils because I just want that shattered effect. I don't want nothing full coverage. So I'm just making sure that I'm pressing these down really lightly. 
just sporadically and randomly around the nail. And as you can see, it's a little hard to pick up on camera and you can definitely see it better in real life, but where you've got your glitter and mylar underneath and then that layer of clear acrylic and then the foils on the top, it gives off this 3D effect. So then once I've finished applying those foils, I'm gonna come in with my CJP Tack Free Top Gloss and apl apply a nice even layer of this to the entire nail. And I will then pop it in my LED lamp to cure for 60 seconds. So as you can start seeing, you can see the iridescent effects from the different glitters underneath. And then you've got the metallic effect from the foils. And I just think it looks really, really pretty. And as you see, it was really simple to do, but it's one of those designs that looks absolutely fabulous in a full set. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. If you did, then please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I shall see you all very soon in the next one. Lots of love. Bye bye.